Welcome everybody to Christians Against Religion. I'm your host Ethan. I'm your host Steve. And we're Steve. No. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so, me and Steve are gonna deal with a very important question. Well, we're we're eyeballing it. We we have no preparation as always for this. But I, I had a friend that texted me last night. E- Ethan, are you still doing the podcast? And it took me a bit to respond because I was at work. By the way, eat raisin canes, chicken fingers. Um, not a sponsor. <laughs> yeah, not a sponsor. I'm not trying to lose my job. Yeah. <laughs> but um, and he w- he was asking if we could do an episode uh, talking about how Christians are supposed to approach all these crazy things in the world. This guy isn't a Christian. But but uh, he, he was curious on how we should approach uh, all the craziness, you know. Uh, I mean, our, especially in this country, things are just going batshit crazy for lack of a better term. I have thoughts on how not to approach it. <laughs> so do I. So, uh, <laughs> I think we see examples every day of how not to approach it. Okay. From everyone, pretty much. Fair, fair. Um sorry i cut you off no 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 he just wants to know how christians are supposed to act in this stuff or? i don't I, I guess respond right so so hmm. to give us some examples of how people do respond right uh we have the issue like uh, abortion and christians some christians fight against that right so that's a issue and that's a response to it right so i think he's meaning it along those lines how do we respond to these issues like uh the lgbtq community race relations i mean politics in general uh just things like that if you have any thoughts uh, I, my thoughts are i don't think we need to fight against this world because this world this world and um i don't see any reason to um i don't know impose your christianity on people to build an earthly kingdom as i've said I, many times before but okay um it's worldly stuff if it's politics stuff or like anything to do with that i think vote as an american and um yeah don't mix your christianity with that stuff because that gets us into all sorts of trouble when we have uh christians blowing up abortion clinics and picketing gay people's funerals and mm-hmm. Westboro Baptist essentially. Okay, yeah. Um, but they're a very small minority. Yeah, but yeah. it's also like it, um, there's churches that are bringing politics into church and saying that, as I've said before, Jesus wants you to have an AR-15 or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it, I, it, that whole culture, I renounce. Yeah. Okay, so I detest whatever, I, whatever the word I is. I have to ask it, isn't the whole gospel about going against the world is it just separating or is it reforming like what's your thoughts um no because well jesus said his kingdom's not of this world because they thought he was going to be an earthly king and Mm -hmm. rule over the um be the king of the jews as an earthly king but he said no okay i'm not doing that and that wasn't his purpose so um plus back then i mean he came uh for the Jews anyways at that time. So it's a little different now, uh, I believe. I don't think we're, we're... Otherwise, we might as well just join the Mormon church and have their, have them work on building an earthly kingdom because they're doing... They're fighting tooth and nail to do it. So, um, yeah, I don't... I'm against any sort of kingdom building. Okay, I, I'd agree with that. I, I'm just saying that... Um that the gospel is directly in opposition of the things of this world, which I think you would agree with, just as a, as an ideological yeah. point. I'm not saying you have to agree, agree with the things of the world, but I'm saying don't don't mix your. How do I ex- explain this? Hmm. Uh, I'm I'm trying to I, I'm trying to understand what you're saying, which I think I am. Mm-hmm. Um. But but I think inherently as Christians, our lifestyle is a contradiction to the world. But that's fine. That's your okay. lifestyle. But that's not you fighting against the institution of abortion or whatever with your Ooh. Christianity, Ooh. which Ooh. is di- a different thing versus, uh, yeah. Okay, so I th- I think that... 
I'm, I'm trying not to go too deep into this, but yeah, we can I feel use like a different I might have example. To. No, oh, we we can use this because I use my Christianity to fight against things that are wrong because uh, God is the God is the author of morality, right? Okay. And so those things I don't think are separable. Does that make sense? Um, I just think we run into issues the second that you start speaking for God against movements. Well, no, in sure. The world. So, yeah, that's you're, kind of my basis for it because, like, you're right. The conservative Christian okay. people in this country, for example, um, a lot of times you get that mixing of. Uh, God in politics, and I think that one gives uh, Jesus a bad name. Okay, and for two, it doesn't. It just it doesn't do much for the movement besides rally up people that are also Christian and believe mm-hmm. the way you do. So it doesn't really change anything, and I think it makes it worse, and it makes a mess of Christianity in general. Okay, I don't think it should be mixed. I'm, I'm a separatist when it comes to <laughs> um, politics and religion. Okay, so so I, I do agree with that separation to, of church and state, if you will. To, yes, a separation of church and state, but the, it's a hard line to follow. So what, what I'm what I'm saying is that look, uh, God is the author of morality, right? So murder is wrong because everyone's created in the image of God. And um, and God commanded that we shall not murder, right? Where whereas if if you're an atheist, you would say murder is wrong, but you have no like philosophical backing for that. You have no standard to abide to, right? So I'm I'm upholding myself to that standard, to God's standard, right? And so that's uh, that's why I would say that if abortion is wrong, I fight against it. So that does conflate my Christianity well with my standard. There's a difference that. between. Uh, <sighs> imposing your uh beliefs on others and like uh well, you just said it a second ago but um uh using god to speak for others i guess okay in a way and either way like if a law comes into uh to to bill or if something comes into law where you have to murder your sister for okay. example um as christians we don't do it and we suffer for it because we're christians but like there's a difference between um getting the church institutions and everything to fight against this bill in the name of god versus individuals doing that mm-hmm. i guess i don't know well, it, well, it's it's sort of an extreme saying <laughs> murdering your sister but like i i know what you're saying but okay I'll, I'll take that example okay if if that law was instituted would it not be the christian's responsibility to fight against it or is it just a person it's not our responsibility, responsibility to m- fight against laws and rules because it's not our job it's again really? it's, we're not building an earthly kingdom so that is true we don't have to follow that thing if it's morally wrong okay but just like um the early christians were killed in lion pits and, and whatnot yeah. you know and the, uh they didn't agree with the laws or whatever but they just followed their their they followed god essentially and they had yeah. to suffer for it but um it wasn't like everyone was trying to uh rise up and use their christianity to fight against the powers that be okay because they weren't so so i'll uh, i'll take what you just said because i do i i agree to a certain extent um however the the reason they were killed is because they were proclaiming that look christ is king you you have no authority right Mm -hmm. um so I don't I don't know about the pl- any political example I can give. So you may be right with this, but I'm I'm going to try and object to it. Um, I think that um, that the early church leaders were fighting against the evils of this world by reforming it with the gospel, because the reason that we have to be saved is because we're we're fallen, right? And so it's a turn it's a it's a turning away from sin and all that. So. Assuming that these things are sins that we're talking about, then that will be the inherent role to proclaim the gospel and to turn away from the sins of this world. 
So that's the way I'm kind of seeing it, if that made any sense. But you think that it, it, the answer is putting it into law? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> because that's a theocracy. Okay. Yeah. That's not what I'm thing. saying. But that's, but, but that's where it leads. Sure. Once, once sure. you have your church institution fighting political battles for you in the name of God, you okay. end up with a theocracy, which is no, no good. Okay. So you're right. You're definitely right. I... I I'll say it. I'll try and say it this way. We talked about this in um, that show we did, Can You Be a Communist and a Christian? Yeah. We talked a lot about this, and the answer is yes, in my opinion. Well, sure, sure. Um, But I I think those two worldviews are inherently contradictory. We had the same argument (laughs) last time, and it uh, you can be a communist and a Christian. And I and I, agree, I I agreed with you, but I don't think it makes much sense at all. No, it might not. Uh, but right, um, one is a, a political system, if you will. Yeah, sure. And the other is your faith. So. Okay, so I uh, I want to I want to dive into this question a bit further, though, Steve, because we're talking about uh, Christian Christian beliefs shouldn't be in our laws, which I a hundred percent agree with. But then. You and I have also talked about, talked about how when dealing with nihilism, there's no moral standard outside of that. So what what justifies our laws on the books then? What do you mean? Like who? who the Laws are laws. It's worldly things. It's politics. Well, sure. So but but the, those laws are based off, we have of, laws. Well, off yeah, of morality. We, well, yeah. But as Christians, we have um, the laws that are written on our hearts yeah. and minds. And we have the Bible to you know teach us about the things of god but yeah that's different than making it law for those that don't believe and just and laws for this world sure it's a sure but thing. M- many of the laws that we have are written in the in 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 the laws of this country yeah right uh and they so can, what they so can what overlap I'm but it's it's not demanding that all the christian laws are because then it's no, no, theocracy again that, that, that's not what that's not what i'm getting at i'm saying what is the moral standard that are that the united states of america its laws abide to because then we get into the same problem as what an nihilist would have to deal with yeah I, i'm not i don't think it is relevant um to our Christian positions, anyways. Okay. That's a that's a politics discussion and and um, a discussion about yeah morality and why do we have the laws we have. Interesting. But that's a social thing, but it doesn't have anything to do with our faith. I don't think. Like I I don't think it bears any weight on my faith why they make the laws that they do in this country. Well, yeah, but it, it, so let's say we have an unjust law. I'll, I'll pick slavery, right? Mm-hmm. And so the reason why slavery is wrong is because, and this is this is me speaking, the reason why slavery is wrong is because God gave each person unalienable rights as the Declaration of Independence said. This is a whole framework of, of our country, not necessarily as... Our country, not our Christianity. Well, oh, that's, let, let me finish. I was just about to say that. Uh, the, whole, the whole idea is, and the whole idea that Thomas Jefferson was trying to convey is that God gives... It gives us rights. The natural state of man, he has these rights that are inalienable because God gave it to him, right? Mm-hmm. Now, that that's not necessarily the Christian God, right? But it, it it is God working. So that's a moral standard that God has written laws in nature that we have certain rights. And so that's a morale for it. So what's your point? I don't know because, what my point is. At because this point. Uh, because so, that, so, hey, here's the thing that, like, the law, um, a lot of the laws that were. I don't know that we find in America are okay. um, there are a lot of Christians in this country making laws. So okay. they, they do tend to overlap based on people's moral compass in this country, which tends to, or tended maybe in the past more to be Christian, if you will. I don't know what the exact numbers are, but I don't think it really matters. Okay. The point is that's making laws for the country. That's morality for the country. And I don't think it, ma- it bears any weight on my Christianity, how they make the laws that they do. But it should, because we we decide the people to make the laws, right? We're Christians, and so we vote for people who generally have those same types of morality. That's but what, what I'm saying is the laws are, are reflective of what is morally right or wrong. So what is the, ter- what is the determination of that? Because uh, if, if Christians have no... 
interference with that, then all the horrible things that the United States has done in the past that were in our law books. I'm not saying that, Christians shouldn't vote or anything. That's fine. You have no. it's your American right. But that's as an but American. But that's still having an influence. But as an American, you can vote and do whatever you want. Okay. Um, and I if agree. you are a Christian, you follow your moral, moral compass and vote like that. But okay. Because you're going to anyways. Um, but I'm saying you don't want to fight institutions with religion is what i'm saying well, and, and you I, can I vote agree. with you can vote with your vote because you're an american and do it okay but th- so it's sounds like it's sort of the same thing but it's not yeah it's it's different than if we go into a church and they say hey you better vote for um, gary johnson because god wants you, you to the libertarian because god wants you to vote for gary johnson <laughs> and or uh, jill stein green party whatever mm-hmm. it doesn't matter who it is but the point is when you when you start bringing the politics into church that's well and vice versa that's the issue i agree I, I so agree. i'm just saying but as christians we should vote how we want to vote and that that's what we should do okay so you can yeah i i would say though steve that some moral issues and that christians are uh, are to deal with are inherently political <laughs> that i mean like what uh like abortion because they're not um really no okay again our kingdom his kingdom's out of this world yes but so we but should, but the should, uh, but Christians aren't called to to sit here and let the world go awry. You can do that as an American, but I don't think your Christianity should like force you to the b- voting booths. You can yeah, if, uh, it's, uh, if it's I'm if not, it's I'm not even making that point. You can point. vote with your conscience. You can do whatever you want. But no. um, I know plenty of Christians that won't vote because they're Christian, right? But they still participate in going out and. And pro- protesting against their views, or they go and they um, won't vote at all because they're yeah. Christian. But then they'll go and protest stuff. That's kind of silly. <laughs> oh, that, Steve, I, I, I would just. <laughs> let me, I'm, I'm just saying what other people uh, do, man. I'm, I, I'm, I'm just I'm saying. I hear to defend it. I think. Um, I think it's a little silly. Uh, now, now I but forgot I, my point. But again, but, I, 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 but, um, to me, it doesn't make a difference. But. Christians are are called to be active, though, with, within with 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 what within our community, proclaiming the gospel, fighting fighting against evil and stuff. Like you think it's? <laughs> I mean, the gospel is inherently fighting against the satanic powers of this world. Worldly evil, fighting against that is where we find ourselves today, and all the issues that we see in the Christian church, and what's making a fool out of um, Christianity as a whole. I think. Really. Yep. One million percent, and I am against it. Why? <laughs> As you like to say, because um, of what I already said uh, that his kingdom's not of this world. He wasn't here. Jesus wasn't here to be an earthly king, and I don't sure. think he calls us to. Um, but, it, but he calls us that. to bring people into the kingdom. That's different than fighting against. Uh, worldly evils because okay. the world is evil and that's it, it's a fallen world it in is general. evil we're not going to find we're not going to create perfection and and once you like once you waste all your time trying to perfect this world you just wasted your time when you could be doing other things that i think would be far better it's not even perfecting it's it's finding to make the world at least a bit better right so but it's, I, it's I don't care like, if you want to make the world uh, a bit better well, but, but don't do it with it, your christianity no i i I, di- I absolutely disagree with that because yeah. um it it puts it to where uh people like martin luther king who who whose entire philosophy was based off of christianity non-violence because that's what jesus did um the gospel of love loving your neighbor as yourself that was his entire point and that led the civil rights movement into getting rights for african americans right so i think you think that would work today huh you think that would work today people are already turning against martin luther king (laughs) well i know i know because we have forgotten god but i i think christ has that power to work things in our lives and in this world I hate oh, to bring up Martin Luther King, but yeah, I mean, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> I don't want you to get canceled, Steve. It was just the no, first thing that I could think fine, of. But, but <laughs> it's fine. Okay, how do I say this properly? Like, it's okay. fine if you. It should not be a demand over Christians' lives to fight against 
uh, worldly evils with their Christianity is all I'm saying. Can you, as an American, use your views to speak up against you know whatever law it is that you don't want it to be in power? Of course you can. Okay. But it's not a it's not a demand over over the Christian church to do it because once they start saying that it is a demand, then that's where we are today, with uh, con- uh, conservative or liberal whatever church it is that is fighting against uh, political things. It's just it makes a mockery of everything okay so and uh, i ne- think it needs to be separate the the fact that you are a christian i would already say that that's already fighting against the evils of this world because we're in rebellion against god right and so the whole you're being reconciled to god by accepting christ as your personal savior so yeah. that's already fighting against the evils of this world because you've given up your evil and follow christ now uh i don't know about that though. that's not like not really. I don't think so. A, it, I just don't it's agree. Just a thought, Steve. Yeah, um, it's okay. It's okay. I just it's it's one thing that like is a very uh, strong position of mine that I detest fighting against earthly evils because we don't we aren't here to build an earthly kingdom, and that's that's that. In my opinion, so so it's pretty um, straightforward for me, but it. Go ahead. No, no, no. Uh, it's just another quote and uh, question, not quotient. Huh? Um, so, now, do you think that? Well, obviously, you're going to disagree with this, but I'm just, I'm just trying to challenge you. But um, so Jesus, Jesus says, "Love thy neighbor as thyself." You know. Um, so, would you disagree if a Christian applied that to um, to fighting against evils in America because uh, harmful things hurt? thy fellow brother and so therefore I have the responsibility to help my brother out I have the responsibility to help my brother out sure okay I'm not uh, saying hey you atheist over there Jesus said love thy neighbor as yourself why don't you do that? That's mm-hmm. not going to work. Well, I, say, I'm well, not I'm care. Say, I don't I'm care about your that. stupid, uh, your, your stupid thing. You yeah. know, because okay. I'm an atheist. And I don't care. So I think a better method would be to find a secular avenue to. Uh, help with the morality that the atheists and nihilists don't have. Okay, because it's speaking their language. If you're if you're just if you're just quoting the Bible to them, they don't care about it. So it's sure. it's, it's it's ineffective and the wrong way to go about it. I think. See, usually I would agree with that, but uh, and I'm not totally set on the position I'm about to say. But it, it is it is me thinking out loud. Um, Paul describes the gospel as the power of God unto salvation. Right, and so whenever we we talk about using secular means uh, on people, I agree with speaking their language, but it's almost like you're giving in. Why can't they use biblical language to, to talk to us? You know. Well, here's the thing, right? What I'm talking about right now is fighting against laws okay. and positions in politics and stuff, which I'm going to use uh, secular reasoning for that okay. because it's a worldly thing again, and um, I would probably argue for universally preferable behavior which i've talked about on the show before as because it's a secular form of ethics that christians already essentially know this stuff but it's not speaking the language of (laughs) of the separation of church and state and putting law into power or whatever Mm -hmm. um so i wouldn't uh, my point is like that if we're talking about fighting its laws I, i'm not going to be quoting my uh, christianity to people about it using that for my reasoning i can have that as my personal reason but okay. it doesn't matter what my personal reason is if they don't give it any value or whatever okay and now if we're talking about saving people or talking to an atheist to like you know preach the gospel that's different okay that's a different story because i'm not going to use secular means for that i don't, I don't know that's kind of weird yeah because it's, it's a christian issue at that point and that's trying to bring someone closer to god in a personal sense personal relationship yeah. not a political i'd arena. agree with that so that's why i draw the line that's where i sort of that's wh- where they're separate yeah to me. um I'm, I'm just trying to think because i really i actually do agree with you steve but uh I, this is an issue that's been plaguing my mind for the past couple months because if I were to talk about uh, 
what what should we do about illegal immigration? I, I'll throw that one out there. It may not be a good example, but I'm me and this atheist are trying to figure out this problem. We're lawmakers. We're trying to figure it out. Um, I'm a born again Christian, right? It it's the same thing, but I'll just I'll just, I'll just say it for my purposes um so i'm a christian and he's an atheist right we both have a, a similar standard of ethics because we're both raised in america right but me and him attribute these standards to two different things right i i just have a hard time with understanding how i can't bring up christianity when my whole argument against atheism not my whole argument but a huge part of it is that atheists have no standard to pull their morality from you know because i pull it from god has written my his laws on my heart to, on my heart and my mind and atheists and he, would say well not mine yeah <laughs> he said it, it evolved from random processes right and so that how, how are we supposed to reconcile this you know well if that makes sense yeah if that, if it were me in that situation and I was trying to put a law into action and I had an atheist next to me mm -hmm. and uh, whatever he had the opposite opinion of me I would not use my faith reasoning in that situation I would not say like uh, well I wouldn't use any my Christianity to say this is why I think this needs to happen mm -hmm. I would use a secular thing because we're talking about laws now we're, now if I was trying to talk to an atheist one-on-one -on -one, um, about a, fa a faith discussion nothing with putting anything into law or whatever and we're having a personal conversation that's different and my whole issue with that is that apart from God, you have no standard for any moral laws. It's it's a subjective opinion at that point. That's where universal preferable behavior comes in, because it's it's uh, uh, essentially a, a undeniable secular form of ethics. Is it, that, it, that it solves the issue of murder, theft, rape? I don't think it does. Okay, yeah, it's be, I'm not. And, I'm and not saying the reason. I'm, I'm just. I'm th like. <laughs> I wouldn't use that for. <laughs> Well, well let me saying. ask I'm you saying, let I me think, make sure I, I, think the definition good, right. I think it would be a good argument for an atheist or a nihilist that doesn't have okay. anything to, to get the same effect on because I don't I just would let, not use my Christianity for this let, 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 let me make sure I have the definition right okay that that argument that atheists make is basically where um, whatever benefits every, the most people no okay define that's, it for me that's um, what is that can't remember what that is but um uh, no, universally preferable behavior is essentially um, it can't be universally preferable to steal because if it was universally preferable to steal, okay. it's not no. stealing. It's I, I, I just said it way wrong, but I understand be, what you're But it's not about, about like the, the majority of people and what benefits. It's not about that. It's just things that cannot be universally preferable. Yeah. See, and so my, my whole problem with that argument is uh, saying preferable is a subjective term in and of itself that needs to be defined. Preferable to me is different than you, right? So I think that argument falls apart flat, flat through. But universally is the important part. Uh, but preferable, preferable is that okay. part that that has to be defined. Pretend to be an atheist for a second, Steve. <laughs> no, it's fine. This is this is a, a, a form of ethics from an atheist. So, yeah. Um. Uh. I have to. Okay. Put on your Darwin cap. This is cap. so weird debating this right now. Um. <laughs> so. Okay. I mean, there's things that are just preferences. Okay. Right? Um, but when we're talking about universal preferences, that's like essentially a law. Like what can or cannot be. Can it be universally preferable to kill, to murder? It can. <laughs> it can be universally well, actually, preferable to murder? Not, because not, that's not, not murder. Well, okay. Then everyone wants so, to die and it's suicide. Ho hold on, hold on, hold on. But, but the problem is it, it cannot be universal because people murder and then they, they wouldn't be part of the whole universal preferability. What do you, you know? Mean? Well, but it's the point is it, it can't be universally preferable. cannot be. If it's universally, as in completely preferable for everybody, okay. it cannot be murder because it's... Well, we define murder happen. differently. Okay. So, so, so like, if, if we were, if the United States were to... Im implement a law that uh, 
that everyone who's homosexual should be stoned. Someone from Iraq would love that law, right? They wouldn't consider that murder, but we would. So we have two different definitions of murder. You already have a problem right there. No, it's not, it's not universally preferable, so... <laughs> I, I mean, uh, this is this is this is not like right. about specific situations. This is about um, uni- it's a universal thing. Yeah, but you're saying universally, universal. Uh, it's it's not say. it's not about about what is universally preferable. It's okay. what it's about what isn't universally preferable. What preferable. the hell am sense? I listening to? It does okay. Go, go through that one more time. Okay, one, one more time, so, Steve. So, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna pay attention. It, no it Focus more on what isn't universally preferable versus what is, because saying. It, well, you could say it's universally preferable to not murder, but either way, I think the more strong argument is that it's not universally preferable to murder. It's not universally preferable to rape. Okay. Because if everyone wanted to be raped, then they, it's not rape. It's so, having sex. Or so I'm, I'm going to try this. Thing. So that sounds like the like the majority of people deciding it. I know that's not what you're saying, but that's what it sounds like. That's what that just sounded like to me. No, it's it's it really it's about it's not possible <laughs> definitionally or uh, categorically whatever you want to say it's impossible for it to be universally preferable to rape it's impossible okay because you it's not rape at that point okay it's imp- it's impossible to be universally preferable to th- steal because if it was prefer universally preferable for us to all steal from each other that's giving gifts <laughs> that's not stealing anymore. okay and it's not universally preferable to murder for the same reason that if it was universally preferable to murder then it's not murder anymore and it's we're all just going around happy to die i'm, I'm gonna research this so, a bit before i, 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 I think we should do like, a whole episode on this yeah i'd love to but it's not like all i'm saying is it's a great starting point um in the ethics discussion with a nihilist or whatever some person that where where you can if you're trying to argue for one of those things theft mm-hmm. assault murder whatever rape uh, I think you could use that as a starting point versus okay. talking about your Christianity and it's not going to get anywhere with an atheist or whatever. Well, so it's, it's kind of useless in my opinion. Well, I, I still maintain my position in that. Um, and again, this is all politics stuff. So like yeah. for me, it's I, I'm not going to be having, I mean, a, a, po- I'm not going to be trying to save somebody by um, the, me writing laws. Okay. I, 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 I'm leaving the saving part uh, out of it. it. Politics is, I think, okay, yeah. Making laws is is you legislate morality, right? That that's actually a book by Frank Turk. I've read it yet. Though. Legislating morality. Yes, that's a disgusting. It's no, thing no, it is. no, <laughs> no because it, 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 I mean, it makes <laughs> sense. It's by Frank Turk and Norman Geisler, which Geisler is great. Um, if anyone wants evidence for Christianity, but uh, I I just don't think you can you can escape it. But we had a whole conversation about it. I think we could we'll, save it we'll for another episode. Let's hit it again next week um, when we have a little more time together. Our arguments. Yeah. Um, okay. So we'll we'll plan that for next week. Uh, that way we're not just flying off the seat of our pants or whatever. Um, and I think we'll have a productive part two to this. Yeah, I th- so, I think yeah, so as well. Interesting. Yeah. Way gr- I great like, stuff. Yeah. 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 So cool. What do you guys think? Um, well, stay tuned for next week because we're going to talk leave about a it comment. some more. But leave some comments what your initial yeah. thoughts are on this. Um, it's a big, beefy discussion because it's pretty much it has to do with everything that <laughs> Christians do in their lives today. Yeah. So, um, you know, just a little topic like that. Uh, and, you know, uh, honestly, guys, it's really important to have these discussions, but I also have them uh, respectfully. Oh, yeah. I mean, me... I mean, me we were really arguing that much today. We were really, yeah, really, really yeah I, I mean, I think this has been one of our m- more mature arguments. Me and Steve have been... We're growing have thrown uh, <laughs> flames at each other in arguments, but realize we never get mad at each other like afterwards we're like oh that was fun <laughs> yeah you know i i mean well uh, me, we're really good friends here we have great discussions and so i encourage you all to do the same we're gonna go fossil hunting together yeah like give me some fish fossils because <laughs> evolution is come true here fight <laughs> we still need to do an evolution episode i'm oh, looking yeah. forward to that one right. um but anyways guys make sure you check out cult.love if you want more not of us but of sean because sean's pretty cool yeah, it's a great resource for all things uh, faith-related, love-related. Um, it's tons of great information on there and wonderful courses that you can take. Um, definitely become a member and check it out. It's super awesome. So uh, we will be exclusively there at some point in the future. So yep. keep that in mind. Um, 
yeah like comment share subscribe do the whole thing basically base your whole identity around this podcast <laughs> you good no put all of your identity in jesus that's right jesus christ man he is a person who we serve as best as we can mm -hmm. and that's what all this is about trying to explore him and so also remember that give us grace when we're wrong and pray for us when we're really wrong <laughs> <laughs> but you know what we're all kind of really wrong at times so just yeah just enjoy our wrongness and laugh at it and move on yeah. but and feel it, free to leave comments though we, i like to hear what you guys have to say there exactly. hasn't been a whole lot lately um we've been kind of inconsistent with our posting so yeah give us mercy us grace. yeah show us mercy <laughs> <laughs> and until next time i'm ethan foster and i'm steve and we'll see you next week peace